Right. I might not like giving you a job, McCain, but it does mean you have to follow my orders. First one! Get down to the basement and get a uniform on! Are you two old friends? Honey, did you put those essential supplies on my desk? Yes, Chief! I'm going to my office. I'll be giving a briefing on Rex Fury in ten minutes, even though he's probably a million miles away from here by now. Do not disturb me! Wow. Yeah, he does seem in a better mood today. Come on, let's get you a uniform. Ellie! You in there? Is that you, Frank County? Give me a minute. This is the requisitions desk and evidence locker. The girl who runs it is called Ellie Phillips. Hey there! <laughs> oh, I had no idea you were in. You just spoke to me. Hi there. I'm Chase. Yeah! It's the guy you told me about! Chase McCain! Well, it's nice to meet you, Chase McCain. My Uncle Duke told me all about you and that Rex Fury case a few years back. Oh, yeah? Don't worry. There's a few of us in the station know you did all the real work on it. Phew. <clears throat> this is a police communicator. It does everything your old phone did and a whole lot more. Including keeping me up to date with what you're doing. You'll need to connect it to the main computer in the lobby before you can use it. You think you can help Chase do that for me, honey? Uh, uh. Good boy! And I'll give you a call once you're hooked up, Chase. Uh, uh, who's that? Uh, oh, I, I was just resting my eyes and my arms and my legs. Oh, uh, it's you again. Fine. Briefing room! One minute! <laughs> Come on! Settle down, people! Hey, Harry! How many coffees have you had? Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Did I have six shots, or only five? Well... Okay, you've had enough. Right. I'm gonna take this from the top. The mayor thinks we should be looking for this man, Rex Fury. He's a giant! Rex somehow escaped from Albatross Island three months ago, although we still have no idea how, but that's not important. What is important is that you catch up... So make a note of that! Now, Rex Fury has been a habitual criminal since he was six years old. Good heavens! At that age, he would have still been in preschool. Elementary, my dear fellow. <laughs> we got our break when a secret witness came forward. Well, secret until somebody accidentally gave their identity away! Natalia's testimony enabled us to arrest Rex. He tried getting away, but foolishly chose a lawnmower as his escape vehicle. Pull the lawnmower over! His other mistake was in doubting the ability of the man who finally arrested him! Me! If Rex is behind the crime wave, then he needs to be back behind bars. So, to help catch whoever's behind it, I've had security cameras installed at key locations. The museum, Forrest Blackwell's mansion, and, of course, the banks. What the... <laughs> Briefing's over! Everyone get to the bank! Oh, uh, just one more thing, Chief. What the... clowns? Huh? Huh? What? Get after that G! 
Joker! Hmm. <laughs> you can drive, right? You gotta help me! Don't worry. You, left and forward. You, back and right. You, left and right, then left a bit more. You, keep doing what you're doing. I like it. <laughs> you, ma'am, I'm gonna need your car. my car wasn't wrecking my life enough for you you look exactly as I remember you <laughs> don't try and sweet talk me I had to change my identity because of you I even had to change the color of my hair you weren't a blonde before you what oh I'm going to my dad's cabin to say goodbye and then I'm getting out of Lego City will I see you again no Uh, sir? I'm Chase. I think Ellie told you I was coming. She certainly did. Nice to meet you, Chase. Duke Huckleberry's a name, and I know all about you. Excuse me for saying so, because I know you made a mistake. But shipping you off sure seemed a bit harsh, especially as you got that witness to come forward in the first place. Yeah, well, I learned from my mistakes. I won't do anything that stupid again. Whoa! You okay? Yeah, fine. Do you have a grapple gun with you? Well, I sure do. You're welcome to one of those useless pieces of junk. Darn things didn't help me one little bit with old Bessie. Huh? Striped bass. Gray. About yay long. Ooh. What? Nothing. Anyway, uh, I'd better go. I've gotta go arrest some robbers. Sure. Uh, good luck with that grapple gun. These things can be tricky to use. Whoa! Ooh, it's a good thing I don't have vertigo or some other ridiculous phobia. Tell me who you're working for. Uh, it's, uh, uh George. Uh, George, uh, Fod, Tom, Benson, Barry. Aw, uh, come on. Uh, I can't tell you. Uh, he'll take me apart. All right, I work for Rex Fury. Rex, where is he? I don't know. I never see him. He just phones me. Then who would know? Search me. Maybe Blue. He's the fixer in Albatross prison. Go see him. Just, just don't let me fall. You seem very well informed for a car thief. Yeah, well, I pick things up. Not anymore, you don't. George? George Fartar Bensonbury? Hey, long time no see, Dave. Hey, are you blue? Mm. I've had better days, Sonny. I'm Chase. <clears throat> I heard you might know about Rex Fury. Rex Fury? That man owes me. For helping him escape? Why would I do that? Rex was my biggest customer until he disappeared, <laughs> owing me for a hot tub. You know how difficult it is to smuggle one of them in? Mm. Speaking of which, 
Careful with Haywood's new car, hmm? Uh, sure, Blue! So how did Rex escape? Well, that's the question on everyone's lips. Except no one's allowed in his cell to find out. Not even the police. That's not right. But we both want to see Rex back in here. So I've got an idea. Get some gear from the cupboard in my cell. Then I'll call you with more information on this. That's a croissant. We aren't allowed phones in here. The phone's inside it. Put your number in. Go! Oh. <laughs> there. I hope this plan of yours works, Blue. Uh, are you free, man? No. No, I am not Freeman. His lawyers might be watching. What's the matter, Haywood? You don't like your new car? Car? <laughs> Need a hand? I couldn't hurt. Think you're up to getting all those fellers back in their cells? All in a day's work. What's happening out there? I have no idea to this day what those two Italian ladies were singing about. I also don't know why those guys are dancing together. And how did he get that saucepan on his head? Hmm. Okay. There is a lot I don't know. Let me out! Let me out! McCain! Warden Stonewall called me. I won't tell you what he called me, but it wasn't nice. It was a nincompoop. It looks like Rex used this hammer to dig his way out of prison. It came from the Bluebell Mine. Give me that. If there's any deducting to do, I'll do it. Whoa. Hmm. Interesting. It's a hammer. And where's it from? There's no way to tell, but the Bluebell Mine seems as good a place to start as any. You see, the, there was a theft there a few months ago. I'll get over there right away, Chief. Not so fast, McCain. Sheriff Huckleberry can look into it. Stay away from the mine. That's an order. Hey, Chief, can I get a shot for the Herald? Uh, you sure he didn't use this? Watch the birdie! I'm looking for Clarence Stinky Fletcher. Other end of the main cavern. <sighs> you can't miss him. I'll tell you, I sure won't when he retires. Hoo-hoo-wee! <laughs> there he is! Blow the charges! <gasps> With the detonator! <laughs> <coughs> what the? Crab cakes! <laughs> All right, which one of you lot did that? For the last time, will people stop playing with dynamite? Oh, and you! Get some safety gear on! Uh, aye, aye, sir! Long time no see, McCain. Rex Fury! Looking for someone? What's that? Wow. Leave him. There's nothing he can do. 
My guy says he's found someone to steal us a nice new truck. Courtesy of the Lego City PD. Oh, turn that noise off! Did an ice cream truck hit me? It looks that way, but no. You got beat up, Chase. Good thing Dunby sent me up here. Duke, ow. I was looking for a miner, but... Rex got to him first. Try not to speak. Natalia, you came here for me? <laughs> no. He'll be fine. Then why? I was in the area. Her daddy's gone missing. What? Don't worry, Natalia. I'll find him. I'll find him. Without you. I never should have testified against Rex Fury. If Rex has got her daddy, and you're planning on rescuing him, then you're gonna need to learn how to defend yourself. Go see this guy. He knows Kung Fu. Barry Smith. 24-hour plumber and kung fu guru. Unblocking pipes and chakras since 1987. Huh. It's worth a try. I'm here to see ba Shh. Have a listen to this. You sleep. Relax. You are now completely relaxed. <laughs> the end. I know Kung Fu. Show me. And plumbing? Maybe I should start you off against a few of my students. You have done well. Take this belt with you as a sign of your skill. I can't accept this, Barry. Why? Oh, hello. Do you mind if I drive it from here? I want to show Ellie that I can be trusted. All right. Enjoy getting your photo in the papers, Frank. I can't wait all day, Marion. I have to reopen the bridge this afternoon. Where is that truck? As if I'm interested in fame and fortune. Oh! <gasps> My public! Ah, here it comes, Mayor Gleason. <laughs> right on time. Here I am with our new truck! Good old Frank Honey delivers again! Coming through! Honey! Honey! Out of the way! Sorry, madam! Hi there, Mayor Gleason! Hey, Chief! Dunby! Honey! Waffles! What are we doing? Well, what did you expect to happen with Frank driving it? This is your fault, Marion. Whoa! Chase, give me some good news. Have you found Rex Fury? Well... How could you find him? I mean, the Chief told you to stay off his case. Oh, really? <laughs> That's not true at all. <laughs> it isn't, Chase. No? That's right. I was just about to, to send him undercover in, uh, uh... Cheng Chuang's gang? I think he's linked to Rex. Uh, yes! <laughs> Hmm. Well, that was broke when I got here. Blackwell! Blackwell! Say cheese! Can I get a picture? Watch the birdie! Say cheese! Mr. Blackwell, are you still thinking about the scandal? Why won't you let anyone in your tower anymore? Is it true you prefer cats to dogs? Gentlemen, please, give Mr. Blackwell some privacy. He merely wishes to go somewhere mysterious for secretive reasons he doesn't want you to know about. Yeah. One more question, sir. What? Where are you going? Hey, for, where are you going? What? Well, sir, what? don't leave me. It's my job. Perfect. 
I'm here about a promotion? You? You look like a cop. Well, I'm not. See? Ugh. Greetings, driver. You want to make some money? Stop that! I will fire you, prancing fools! <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, what do you got in mind? Getaway driving? Not so fast. Careful driving? No! <laughs> First, you have to prove yourself. Here is a list of instructions. Follow them, and then report to my salvage yard. And don't get caught like those knuckleheads did! Sure thing, Mr. Chan. Please, call me sir. Why are you still here?! What are they doing in there? One, two... Chan's men were after me. They kinda are. I'm undercover in his game. Why were you in his office? I'm trying to find my dad, Chase. What? Like in a filing cabinet? No, no. I mean that just before he disappeared, he was seen getting into a limousine. One of Chan's? I think so. But the only stuff I found in Chan's office were empty money bags from Papalardo's. Papalardo's? Yeah, the ice cream place with the trucks, you know. Yeah. I remember. So if Chan's working for Vinny Papalardo's gang, is it Vinny that's working for Rex? Hey! Where are you going? Chan must be keeping my dad somewhere else! Stop! It's too risky! I'll find your dad! It's the least I can do! I am not gonna let you endanger my dad just so you can make up for the past! That's not! Why I want to help you. This ain't the last you've seen of Modaluca. I can do this sentence standing on my head. Thanks to my circus trainers. There's the paperwork. We won't be seeing Mo DeLuca back on the street for at least eight years. Thanks to those parking tickets. Another job done and the final day of my 36-year-long career finished. And all without a single blemish. Hey, Pat! I'm here for Mo DeLuca. Vinny Papalardo ran the biggest gang in Lego City. And now, he wanted to see me. His ice cream parlor was a gathering place for local hoodlums. There was Tony one time. So called because he said everything once. Hey! Polly blindfolds. No, tell him I can't see him today. Lucky Pete. Good to see ya! Whoa! No! Oh. Ah! Oh. ah. Hey, I found the penny! Ugh. The crayfish twins. <gasps> Sorry, wrong table. And Mikey spoilers. Check it out. When you get to the space center, you can knock down a planet from the ceiling to get a secret item. I amuse you? You think I'm here to make you laugh? 
You think I'm funny? Funny how? Uh, 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 I'm sorry, boss. I didn't Get mean to- Get out of here and unload that truck! <laughs> hey, you must be Chase. You come highly recommended. I won't forget what you did for my cousin. Oh, ignore the clothes, kid. It's my boy's birthday. I wanted to give him a nice surprise, you know? I've been looking forward to getting my hands on the stuff you got me for some time. They're called color guns, and they're of particular benefit to the less than legitimate fraternity. You know, us guys. Now, I need someone to see if these things really work by stealing the Bell Pepper Emerald from the Lego City Bank in downtown. You want to put one through its paces? Well, I've come this far. That's right. And don't worry about how to use it. I'll have a read through these instructions and phone them through to you. Good luck, Chasey. <laughs> Ew. I am going to have to shower for a week after this. This place. Sorry! I meant to have this place on Tuesdays, but the people listen to me? No! And they call this organized crime. All engineering staff, please report to the shuttle bay. Whoa! Sheesh! That is one small step, Foreman! Perfect. While they're all busy working on the shuttle, I can just get to the moon buggy, which is... somewhere around... There! Ah, uh, in the middle of the shuttle. Hey! That's my car! It's not your car! You are so possessive! Fine, it's our car, but it isn't his. Come on! Chance men better be waiting for me at the dock! Help! Somebody help! There's Blackwell. I'm being abducted! Against my will! Can anyone hear me? Yeah, I can. I mean other than my abductors! We're here. <laughs> Mr. Blackwell, I, I am so relieved you're safe. I can barely sleep. Thank you again, Chase. You sleep during work hours? Well, uh, uh, let me take you inside. Thank you. Farewell, Chase McCain. I'm sure we will meet again. <laughs> oh, that rhyme. Where's my backup? You meant to be here by now. Hey, Chase. Okay, Studsky and Clutch are here. Where's the lady in distress? <laughs> <laughs>